Good morning boys and welcome back to online art. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week. So today we are going to be doing some observational drawing. Now we're going to be learning about an armored rhino. It's actually the Indian rhino and it's very, very special. So it's got one horn and its body looks like it's covered in a suit of armor. So that's what I want you guys to focus on today. I want you to please focus on the shapes and the textures. So these rhinos also have these like bumpy warts like things called tubercles which is a very fun word to say but it also gives such a cool effect on their skin so please look at the images i've got lined up of the rhinos please focus today on one shapes two shadows and three textures please watch my video to come and i will explain more Today, we're taking a virtual trip to India to learn about a fascinating animal that is known by a few names. The Indian rhinoceros, Great Indian Rhino, Greater One-Horned Rhino, and the Armoured Rhino. I know we're not doing a background today, but this is where you'd put your rhino if you were going to. The preferred habitat of an Indian rhinoceros is alluvial floodplains and areas containing tall grasslands along the foothills of the Himalayas, according to the World Wildlife Foundation India. Indian rhinos are really, really big. This image from National Geographic shows how big this rhino is in relation to a six-foot man. Please pay attention to the texture of the skin. You can see the bumpy tubercles on this rhino. Please also note the shapes that look like armor. Okay, boys, so I've started my sketch and I just want to show you something quickly. So what I want you to start with, please, is your basic shapes. So you start with your outline. Remember, we can start even drawing an oval here and then we refine our shapes to make it look like a rhino. So you start with the basic, basic shapes and then you work with those basic shapes just so you get the size right. Um, this will also be a little oval and then you'll refine it to make it into the rhino's head. Then I've also done these shapes within the rhino. So this is the armor of the rhino. And then you also have your shadows um, which you're going to do afterwards, okay? So you start with your basic shapes once you've got all of those. Um, just remember to help you with proportions, you can measure things with your fingers. So you can see this head is, this head and this bit are the same size. So you can measure here, measure here, and that will help you with your proportions as well. Also your pencil is a very good tool. So. You can use it to measure angles. See, I've got this line here. And then if I am unsure about the direction of this line, I can put my pencil here and see which angle it goes at. Okay, it's a really, really good tool, a pencil. It's very simple, but very good. Then once you've done that, you're gonna add in your shadows. Remember for your shadows, focus on your basic shapes as well. And then you can work on blending afterwards. Okay, so just what, look at your picture, see which parts are dark and just add those little lines in to help you see this is a little triangle here and then after that you're going to work on your details okay so this is just the start of my sketching and my well I, I think I would actually going to paint this so this is the start I just wanted to show you and then once I've done this I'll carry on with my picture and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards okay so boys I just want to show you quickly how to help you with some of the textures so you have like some cracks and stuff on the skin so you can do these really fine little um, lines, like they're kind of U-shaped lines. And if you do them all around together, it does make um, it look like the texture, especially if you've done some shading first. So for example, if I've done some shading for my rhino, and then I add in, oopsie, <laughs> then I add in my little bumps, it can make it look really, really cool. Um, the little u-shapes not for the tubercles the tubercles are more circular so these are just for um if you have little cracks in the rhino skin that's quite a cool little effect and then if you have the little tubercles what you could do is you could do little circles and put them all next to each other that does give like quite a nice little bumpy effect um especially if you go around a little bit um, more than once so more than just doing one circle if you go around a little bit more it does give quite a nice little bumpy effect so let me just show you on my rhino this is what I've done here so you can see I've done little circles here to help add the bumpy effect and these little things that's what I've done over here 
All right, this is my rhino. So remember, please focus on your shapes, your shadows, and your textures. Okay, so yeah, I've added a bit of texture here. Um, I've added in some of those little bumps over here and here where I've seen them on my picture. And I've added in some texture using some shadows over here. Okay, so this is what I would like you to do today. Please don't worry about the background. I know we usually focus on the background, but we're not in the classroom at the moment. And the most important thing for me today is that you improve in your drawing skills. Um, please do watch that YouTube video that I posted about drawing the rhino. He's really good at showing how you use different shapes. So he starts with two circles and then joins them all together and then adds in um, the rhino's head afterwards. And it's just, it shows you really nicely how to um, use shapes to form a picture. Okay, boys, I hope you've really enjoyed this. I've had so much fun doing this rhino and have a wonderful day. Let me know if you've got any questions. Have a lovely day.